Hey guys, Tarko Cycling FPV. It is a rainy, crappy day outside, and uh, which gave me a good time. I actually had a customer send in some stuff I need to work on, and it sent me into this frenzy because I had to figure out how to make this work. Uh, hold on, let me grab my... Uh... All right, so here's what we got. So we're using the Ishii Novice 3, right? And as many of you guys know uh, who have the Tiny Hawks or whatever else, the Maytech F411RX board is used on that, okay? And there's been a serious issue with a lot of people trying to bind. Now, here's the thing. The binding in... Uh, uh, firmware 4.0, Betaflight 4.0 was easy, all right? You would just type it and go. And I'm going to show you how we did that because I downloaded the old firmware. And then I'm going to show you what happens in 4.2.1, which is today's firmware release, okay? So let me kind of get to where we're at here um, and show you first uh, what I want to show you. Hold on, let me straighten this out. What I want to show you first, and obviously this is going to be maybe a little bit more of a discussion than you wanted, but uh, I think it's important that you understand what's going on. Um, so... I want to show you first here on the split screen. Uh, let's do this here. One, two, one, two. There we go. Boom. All right. So here's our table right here, right? Okay. So I want you to see right now that on the X9 uh, Lite, now this is the X9 Lite with the newest firmware. Okay. So it's got access and, um, and ACCST and it also has a Telemetry module in the left. back just Telemetry in case. Signal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Telemetry relax. Recovered. Okay. So just in case we thought we might need this and we don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that out of here. All right, uh, I had it installed uh, just in case, but we didn't need it. Okay, so I had the hardest time getting this to work and I'm gonna show you exactly what we did. I'm also gonna put in the computer screen here. Uh, one thing to note is that on this quad, we don't need to add any LiPo power. Right, signal, critical. Yeah, shut up a second. We don't need to add the um, uh, LiPo to get it to work, okay? And it will work in D16. Uh, so here goes, here's what we did. So uh, let me get to, first, this is my notes page right here. So let me show you that. Here's my notes page, which we're making right now. You'll find it on Cyclone FPV. When I'm done, I'll publish it. It'll be the Ishii Novice 3 binding process, but it'll also apply to anything that you're doing with the same thing. Now, let me go to Betaflight. All right, signal, critical. Okay, you're driving me nuts, lady, so chill. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get this thing first. I'm gonna go into binding here, and I'm going to right, basically, signal, I'm gonna update the firmware. Okay, and we're going to go to, um, oh, we're going to load it local because I had downloaded the 4.0. So I'm going to show you how this worked in 4.0 first. And telemetry at that point, locked. we're going to lose our telemetry on the radio, which is fine. Okay, and I'm making notes on the back end here so I can put this on our page. So bear with me as I switch between the two screens. But in the 4.0, uh, after we flashed it, so we're going to say uh, after flash, uh, verify, uh, verify um, that you have SPI uh, RX in here. Let me show you exactly like this, right here. Okay, we're still it's still loading. All right, so once we connect, there we go, and we're running four point. Well, this four point oh. So when we go to our, whoops, let me disconnect here real quick. Let me update the firmware again. This time I want to do a full chip erase. Load local. And this is going to be 4.0. Okay, so we're going to flash it. Okay, we want to uh, uh, in uh, in uh, RX protocol. I think that's the right term. And then uh, verify uh, RX selection is God darn it is FRSKYX. Okay, for D16. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there for now. Save that real quickly, and we're gonna go back here. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing this is because I really wanna get this out quickly so that I can help a couple of my customers that are pending, waiting on this. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna click connect, and then we are going to, let's just make sure everything's good. Uh, ports is fine, there should be no issue there. And we can see here that we have under our, uh, sorry, receiver mode and provider. Sorry, so I should have said uh, in, Receiver mode, receiver mode, and RX provider. Here, let me do this. Okay, so let's say that. All right, so we're going to go back there now. Here we go. Okay, from here, you'll go to your CLI. Okay, so you're going to go, and I'll have to type this in there in a second. So what you're going to do here is you're going to uh, type, and you're going to have your radio ready, right? So I've got my radio ready, and I'm going to go. I'm going to hit my pay. Or sorry, I'm going to hit my menu button, hit page, and I'm going to go to my internal. Okay, there's my internal ACCST is what I've got selected. 
All right, and I've got it on Rx number six, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type bind underscore Rx and hit enter. Oops, sorry. Bind underscore Rx underscore SPI and hit enter. Now this is the difference between 4.0 and we're right now. And then I'm gonna type, uh, and I have it written here. So let me do here. Uh, uh, go to CLI, type bind underscore Rx underscore SPI, press enter. Okay, um, put your radio in bind mode. Okay, and then, and then type, uh, type, uh, set, set space, FRSKY underscore X underscore RX underscore num and press enter. Okay, and you should, but that you should see your uh, rx number match the rx num on your radio all right so let me explain to you what that is so on my radio here so i'm going to go do that real quick let me just copy this though so i don't have to retype it uh, set rx num so look at copy i'm going to go over here while it's in binding mode okay now i'm going to start binding okay so here's my rx num it's actually number six on mine okay so i'm going to slide over the binding i'm going to hit bind and I'll leave 9 through 16 telemetry on, fine. Okay, while that's doing that, I'm gonna paste the following. Now look, nothing's happening to my light, so don't worry about that. Click paste, hit enter, and you see that right there? It says free sky RX num equals six. It automatically detected my number here, so now I'm gonna type save, and then I'm gonna hit the exit button and stop the binding on my radio. Now check this out, boom, we bound. Okay, that is the order to do that. So I need to go now and finish, so, okay, you should, okay, that's fine. Once you see that, once you verify, make sure to type save and hit enter. Immediately press exit on radio to stop binding. Go to main screen on radio and you should be bound. Awesome. I'm going to save that and that is verified to work. Okay, so that is the solution if you have 4.0. So now when I connect and I go to my receiver tab, I've got stick movement and everything is good, okay? Here's the problem. Telemetry lost, telemetry recovered. Shut up a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna go to update the firmware to the newest one, watch this. So update firmware and I'm going to load 4.2.1. Load firmware and I'm gonna click flash firmware, okay? I'm gonna telemetry the thing. lost. Now while that's doing that, there's gonna be some changes here. All right, so let's hold this. All right, and then we'll put all these in dots. That way it's easier to follow. There we go. Okay, now firmware 4.2.1 is gonna be different. So what you're gonna do here, and most of these, some of this might actually be the same. Let me verify. Uh, okay, so this will change. So let me just copy these here real quick. Click copy. And I'm gonna go here and hit enter, and I'm gonna paste, okay? This part is fine, this part is fine. This part is wrong. You do not type SPI anymore, you just type bind RX and press enter, so I'm gonna click save. All right, I just heard the computer restart or the uh, USB reinitialize. Let's go over here and now we're gonna click connect and we're gonna say apply custom defaults, that's fine. Okay, now obviously you can see on the radio we have no bind right now, okay? Now click connect. Now here's the screwed up part. Go to your configuration and make sure you still have uh, uh, SPI RX support and uh, FreeSky uh, X series, right? Okay, once we do that, we're gonna go back to our CLI. Now, the first thing that changes is we type bind RX and hit enter, that's it. Okay, now it says it's binding, right? Here's the screwed up part. If you try to do this and you try to put your next command, which is to set the number, it's not gonna work, okay? Period, it won't work. And it's gonna hang, all right? So we can uh, do it, and you see it's not gonna do it. Now, we could try to do it this way, okay? And we could type save, okay? Actually, what I wanted to do was something different. I apologize, let me try this again real quick. So when we go here, we're gonna type bind RX, and I'm gonna show you the way people have been doing it that's been wrong, that's what I meant to do. All right, so let me go ahead and go to my uh, menu page, and we're gonna type, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to bind. All right, we're gonna leave telemetry, Again, uh, uh, we're gonna be binding like normal to channel six, okay? 
We're going to hit bind RX, all right? And if you want to stop, you can stop it, and then you can start binding it, whatever you want to do. But this time, when you try to tell it to find the channel, you hit enter, it's going to lock up, actually. Okay, that's exactly what happens. The board's locked up now. I can't do it. I can type exit, and I won't get out. Nothing will work, okay? So, and I, can, I don't think I can do this. Nothing will work. So I'm going to have to disconnect, all right? And I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to plug my USB back in. Okay, so here's what I found, and I'm going to try one other thing because I didn't even try this yet. So we're going to go to our CLI again, and we're going to do the same steps. So we're going to do bind RX. Uh, where is it? Bind RX, right there. Hit enter. Okay, now I'm going to start binding. Okay. Well, I, let me bind here. There we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see if it will let me do it this way. Hit enter here. Okay. Now click save. Okay. Hit exit. And there you go. Okay. You have to put in the number this time. That's it. So the difference being is that when you do this right here, instead of typing bind RX, uh, sorry, set uh, right here and you press enter. In this case, this time you uh, put, and then, and then, and then right, you put here, critical. enter, enter your RX num value and right, press signal, enter. Critical. Okay. So we'll do an, for example, we'll do a, uh, IE, uh, FRSK set. Telemetry lost. Shut Telemetry up. Recovered. FRSKY RX underscore critical. RX underscore num equal six. And then press enter. Okay. And then now you, signal, you'll see your critical. number on the radio here. Once you verify, make sure it's save, type save and hit enter. Immediately press exit and go to the main screen and you will be bound. Now here's one thing, as you can tell, one issue telemetry that I am recovered. seeing with this lost. is that the RF telemetry signal. issue telemetry on the shut up radio goes in and out with this RF signal critical. method. Okay, now this could be very well because we're too close. So I'm gonna set the radio over here and it may not go back out. And I'm gonna put here, I did notice this when the radio uh, radio when the radio was close to the quad but once I moved it away the issue stopped and as you guys can see there's no problem okay so guys remember again the same the, the thing that's different here uh oh what did I do I mix these together didn't I okay so I will uh, swap these out but the main thing to understand is that in 4.0 I can't believe I did this hold on so let me take this one and click copy and I'll paste this here because I actually typed it in the wrong one. Oh, this is great. So never mind. I'll fix that in a little bit. But just understand these are your steps for 4.2.1. Uh, and then we'll take 4.1, uh, 4.0 right here, and we will uh, put that right here somewhere. So firmware 4.2. 0.0, .0. and then we'll just paste this there, okay, and we can delete this. So these are the instructions depending on the firmware you're running, all right? So let me bold that and underline that and bold this and underline this, and these are the instructions that you need to follow to make this work. That's it, all right? So we were sitting here for a while trying to figure this out, and that did it. Uh, so I'm going to save these real quick and uh, I'll try to make this. This video is going to be kind of up in the air only because I need to get this out today before everybody's done for the day. So enter your arcs number value. I see say, okay, so you'll see this and this video will go with it. Okay. But remember, look at the two differences here and that's it. Okay. And I'll correct this one here in just a minute. Uh, I'm just, okay. All right, guys. So that's how it works. Make sure to check the video out. Well, obviously, you'll have the video. Make sure to check the page out. It'll be updated to correspond with it. I hope that helps, guys. It will help with a lot of things. Um, and this way, you don't have to use an X-Lite module. Uh, even if you have the newest FreeSky with access, you can just update the firmware to OpenTX, the newest version to OpenTX. You will end up with the ACCST 16 version software on there, and this quad does handle it. And most of them are going to now, especially once you do the firmware update, you should be good to go. All right. If you have any questions, please join our Facebook 
group at uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash cyclone fpv and then as always please follow us on facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel hope this helps guys if you have any questions other than that hit me up we'll talk to you soon god bless be safe spend time with your family see you bye